So here is my 2006 Mercedes Sprinter van conversion. Come check it out. So first of all, remove the side door. We've got this lovely big wooden Hobbit door on there. It is fitted with a Alto PA sound system. That's the first thing I want to point out. It's got an 18 inch subwoofer under there. It has a eight inch mid and top up the top there. These are all removable and you can even add more speakers if you want to. So you can just pull up, open the door at a sick location with your mates and have a little jam. Uh, it's fitted with an inverter back there, a good battery bank, a 200 watt solar panel on the roof. Um, it also has, come have a look inside here, it has a wood burning stove and there's obviously space underneath the bed to store your wood. Um, there is a shower system that I'll show you to. There is a compost toilet at the back here. Come on in. Actually, let's just hit the lights on for a second. Hang on. So there's fairy lights everywhere. Um, in here, we have a compost toilet, some shelving space. As you can see, that's all fitted out nicely there. Um, we have a, I think, a 100 litre water tank under there, fitted with a butane gas bottle, working hob, uh, it comes with a cauldron as well, and that actually works for the shower system. There's a submergible pump run, there's a shower system at the back here uh, that can be used. I'll, I'll go around and explain that in a little minute. Obviously service label, uh, service worktop there for cooking and stuff. Cupboards, as you can see. Um, these fairy lights, which are 12 volt fairy lights. Um, I've also bought some additional uh, 240 volt fairy lights that plug into the inverter and you can use them outside as you wish. Um, single bed, pretty much self-explanatory to be honest. Right, come around the back. I'll oh, hang on a minute before we do that very quickly. You've got your solar charging stuff up here, like that. Charge controller. Uh, and here's the control panel to switch all your lights and the pump on, plus you have USB sockets there as well. All right, a couple more things actually before we go to the back. If you come around here, Uh, it is fitted with a battery charger as well. If you come over here, have a little look at this. There's a bit of kit. There is a Victron right down here. This is a Victron battery charger. Uh, so basically, if you're at a campsite, you can just plug this in. It'll charge your batteries and then you can run all of your electric and you won't be using any of your own battery power or your solar. You'll be using the power provided on the campsite. Uh, and also, sorry, one other thing. When you are driving, uh, the, um, you will also be charging your batteries as well. That's been hooked up. Now, if we come around the back, the shower system is as follows. So we've got this lovely, neat little cooker here, which I decorated and painted. All of it is decorated to my design. Um, the shower system is really, really cool. So basically what this is, is a submergible pump and a watering can and a cauldron. And what you do is you fit this onto here like so, like that. That goes there. And then what you do is you have a submergible pump and you need to get a hose. And then you put the submergible pump in there. The hose fits on the back end of the pump. The hose then goes into your cauldron onto the stove. You fill up the water with however much water you want to have to take a shower. You heat up the, the cauldron to the required temperature and then the hose end goes in there. And when you flick this switch, the water comes out of there, hot water. There are two little hooks either side here. You can hang up a little blanket or towel or whatever you want to do, a sheet just to cover if you want some privacy. If not, you could just have a shower out here just on the beach or wherever you want to be. It's an outdoor shower, so obviously this is more of a summer kind of van, but you could live in here during the winter and go to and join a gym for showers if you want to shower indoors. Or you could just be a mad cunt and shower outside in the cold. Up to you. But anyways, that's pretty much all the functions of the van. Um, you can live all year round in this. It's off grid. Um, it's pretty fucking sick. And the sound system, I mean, sound system's pucker, mate. So you can pull up anywhere you want in a cool location like this, get the rig out, get your mates out, have a few drinks, do whatever you want to do. Anyways, it's my van. Enjoy.